हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सैट मंत्रा वेलकम टू डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस एंड कॉन्सेप्ट्स प्लीज जॉइन अवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन अवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सैट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन द एवरेज प्राइस ऑफ टेन बुक्स इज ट्वेल्व रुपीज एंड द एवरेज प्राइस ऑफ एट बुक्स इज लेवन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव रुपीज of the remaining two books if one book has price 60% higher than the other book then the price in rupees of both books is this question is from averages chapter i told percentages chapter is very important if you observe here the question is mix of averages and percentages concepts the average price of eight books is Eleven point seven five rupees. I'm assuming those books prices as B one, B two, up to B eight, my friends. Okay, eight books. So their average price is eleven point seven five. This is equal total sum, total price. That is B one plus B two up to B eight by total number of books. How many eight? Now this implies B one plus B two up to B eight. This is equal to eight into eleven point seven five. Okay, cross multiplication. Eight eleven is a eighty eight point seven five. That means three by four, my friends. Okay, eight into three by four. Okay, four one is a four two is a. So eighty eight plus six. This is equal to ninety four. Rather than multiplying the whole decimal, I just split. Okay, eight into eleven is eighty-eight. Eight into point seven five. Point seven five is three by four, my friends. Okay, this makes our life easier. Now, of the remaining two books, in total we have ten books. We have calculated the total price of eight books. That is ninety-four. Now, of the remaining two books, okay, one book has. Price sixty percent higher than the other book. Let's assume the other book price as X. Now this book price will be one point six X, my friends. Okay, sixty percent higher than other book price. That is one point six X. This is clear, right? Other book price we do not know. That's why we have assumed it as X. Now this book price is. Sixty percent higher than other book. Okay, sixty percent of X is point six X. Now this book price will be X plus point six X, my friends. That is one point six X. This is clear, right? Now the average price of ten books is twelve rupees. We know the formula for average. Okay, average is equal total sum, total price. Okay, total price of ten books. Total price of eight books we know that is ninety four. Okay, ninety four plus ninth book price that is one point six x. Tenth book price that is x by number of books ten, my friends. Okay, this is ninety four plus two point six x. Okay, one point six plus one that is two point six. This is equal to ten into twelve that is one twenty. So this is. Two point six x is equal to one twenty minus ninety four. This is equal to twenty six. Now x is equal to twenty six by two point six. That is ten, my friends. Okay. So price of one book, okay, tenth book is ten rupees. Now ninth book is one point six x. Okay, one point six into ten. X value is ten. That is sixteen. So our answer is D, my friends. This is clear, right? So all I just did is. Writing the given information into the equations format and assuming the unknown values. This is very important, my friends. Okay, we don't know the other book price. That's why I have assumed it and then found out the value of x, my friends. This is clear, right? Now, if you observe here, there are two options which are following this condition: sixty percent higher than other book. Okay, sixteen is sixty percent higher than ten rupees. Twenty four is sixty percent higher than fifteen rupees. So we ended up with two options. So we cannot use elimination method and solve this question. We have to solve by 
conventional method only like this my friends okay to know more about the course kindly visit csatmantra.com if you have any queries feel free to call us or mail us thank you